Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Remember now your Creator in the days of your youth, before the difficult days come, and the years draw near when you say, I have no pleasure in them, while the sun and the light, the moon and the stars are not darkened, and the clouds do not return after the rain, in the day when the keepers of the house tremble, and the strong men bow down, when the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look through the windows grow dim, when the doors are shut in the streets, and the sound of grinding is low, when one rises up at the sound of a bird, and all the daughters of music are brought low, also they are afraid of height, and of terrors in the way, when the almond tree blossoms, the grasshopper is a burden, and desire fills, for man goes to his eternal home, and the mourners go about the streets. Remember your Creator before the silver cord is loosed, or the golden bowl is broken, or the pitcher shattered at the fountain, or the wheel broken at the well. Then the dust will return to the earth as it was, and the Spirit will return to God who gave it. Vanity of vanities, says the preacher, all is vanity, and moreover, because the preacher was wise, he still taught the people knowledge, yes, he pondered and sought out and set in order many proverbs. The preacher sought to find acceptable words, and what was written was upright, words of truth. The words of the wise are like goads, and the words of scholars are like well-driven nails given by one shepherd. And Father, my son, be admonished by this, of making many books there is no end, and much study is wearisome to the flesh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God, and keep his commandments, for this is man's all, for God will bring every work into judgment, including every secret thing, whether good or evil. The Book of Song of Solomon Song of Solomon Chapter 1 The Song of Songs, which is Solomon's, let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth, for your love is better than wine. Because of the fragrance of your good ointments, your name is ointment poured forth. Therefore, the virgins love you. Draw me away. We will run after you. The king has brought me into his chambers. We will be glad and rejoice in you. We will remember your love no more than wine. Rightly do they love you. I am dark but lovely, O daughters of Jerusalem like the tents of Kedar, like the curtains of Solomon. Do not look upon me, because I am dark, because the sun has turned me. My mother's sons were angry with me. They made me the keeper of the vineyards, but my own vineyard I have not kept. Tell me, O oh you whom I love, where you feed your flock, where you make it rest at noon, for why should I be as one who veils herself by the flocks of your companions? If you do not know, O fairest among women, follow in the footsteps of the flock, and feed your little goats beside the shepherd's tents. I have compared you, my love, to my filly among Pharaoh's chariots. Your cheeks are lovely with ornament, your neck with chains of gold. We will make your ornament of gold with studs of silver. While the king is at his table, my spike nard sends forth its fragrance. A bundle of myrrh is my beloved to me, that lies all night between my breasts. My beloved is to me a cluster of henna blooms in the vineyard of Engedi. Behold, you are fair, my love. Behold, you are fair. You have dove's eyes. Behold, you are handsome, my beloved. Yes, pleasant. Also, our bed is green. The beams of our houses are cedar, and our rafters of fear. Song of Solomon, Chapter 2 
I am the rose of Sharon, and the lily of the valleys, like a lily among thorns, so is my love among the daughters, like an apple tree among the trees of the woods, so is my beloved among the sons. I sat down in his shade with great delight, and his fruit was sweet to my taste. He brought me to the banqueting house, and his partner over me was love. Sustain me with cakes of raisins, refresh me with apples, for I am lovesick. His left hand is under my head, and his right hand embraces me. I charge you, O daughters of Jerusalem, by the gazelles, or by the doors of the field, do not stir up or awaken love until it pleases. The voice of my beloved, behold, he comes, leaping upon the mountains, skipping upon the hills. My beloved is like a gazelle or a young stag. Behold, he stands behind our wall. He is looking through the windows, gazing through the lattice. My beloved spoke and said to me, Rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. For, lo, the winter is past, the rain is over and gone, the flowers appear on the earth, the time of singing has come, and the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land, the fig tree puts forth her green figs, and the vines with the tender grapes give a good smell. Rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away, O oh, my dove, in the clefts of the rock, in the secret places of the cliff, let me see your face, let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet, and your face is lovely. Catch us the foxes, the little foxes that spoil the vines, for our vines have tender grapes. My beloved is mine, and I am his. He feeds his flock among the lilies until the day breaks and the shadows flee away turn my beloved and be like a gazelle or a young stag upon the mountains of better